some friends from the West Coast. First, Phil Johnston, head of BMW App Center USA. Phil, it's all yours. Thanks, Matt. Hello. I'll just yell. Oh, here we go. All right. Thanks, Matt. Uh, as Matt was saying, I'm head of the App Center USA. And what App Center is, is it's, a, it's actually a group of App Centers that are worldwide. We have one in Munich, one in Shanghai, and one here in the US. We work with local market partners to conduct app integrations for your mobile phone into the BMWs and Mini's. Uh, normally, we work with media companies, so like Pandora and Stitcher, and also location-based services companies like Glimpse. But today I would like to announce something a little bit different, but instead of me allowing myself to take all the credit, I'm gonna hand it over to Adam Silver from GoPro. Thank you, Phil. Are we on, are we on? No. Okay, there we go, hi. Uh, as Phil mentioned, my name is Adam Silver. I'm Director of Strategic Product Opportunities at GoPro, which is a long title, but uh, this, really is uh, and has been a strategic product opportunity for GoPro. Um, we're very happy to be here and to announce the integration of the GoPro app with the BMW Connected Drive system. Uh, and uh, you guys are going to get a chance to use this today. I'm sorry about the rain, but uh, we will uh, be, the, the app that's in the App Store today is the version that works with the, uh, uh, with the BMW Connected Drive system. And actually, all of the cars uh, that you're going to drive today, pretty much, well, pretty much all of them, have got uh, GoPro cameras and iPhones in the center console with the app running. So you'll get a chance to experience it and use it today. But let me, uh, first of all, just to say a few words. First of all, just a quick show of hands. Who's familiar with GoPro? Are you all pretty, pretty much familiar? OK, so I'll keep this really short. Um, most people uh, think of GoPro as a camera company. Uh, and that is indeed what we make and what we sell. Uh, but really what we do is we enable consumers to be able to capture the things that they're most passionate about, the things that they really enjoy, and to be able to share those um, experiences with their friends and with the world. Uh, so that's really, that's really uh, why, we're, why we're here and why we're doing what we're doing. Um, just uh, a little bit about our app. I don't know if you guys uh, have used the app. It's been out for about a year. Uh, we've had a few different updates over the year. Um, but basically, um, the newest, newer GoPro cameras that have the Wi-Fi capability in them allow you to connect your smartphone over Wi-Fi to the GoPro camera, and you can access all of the functionality of the GoPro camera from the smartphone app. So you can uh, control your camera, you can change settings, you can get a live preview of the video so you can actually use the smartphone to frame the shot and make sure the camera's looking at what you want to shoot. Um, and you can actually now also browse through the videos that you've shot and you can pull videos over the wireless connection to your smartphone and share them online with friends and family and the world. <laughs> okay, so basically what we've, what we've done with this integration, so Phil and I uh, actually first met uh, well, it's almost two years ago, believe it or not, it was when we had our first discussions uh, about this idea. And um, it was interesting because at that time, it was before GoPro had integrated Wi-Fi into our cameras, it was before we had an app, um, and we started this discussion about, hey, wouldn't it be cool if, you know, future GoPro cameras have Wi-Fi integrated and GoPro built an app and we could make all of this stuff work together. So that's kind of what we have, what we've done. So now we have this integration, and I'm gonna take you through very quickly what it does. So basically the experience is, uh, you can put a GoPro camera anywhere you like on, on your BMW. Uh, you launch the GoPro app on your smartphone. Um, you then connect the smartphone into the connection in the car. And then when you do that, uh, you get the lock screen that you saw a minute ago. And the control of the app gets passed to the car. So you can use the iDrive controller to navigate through the uh, capabilities of the app. And basically what you can do is um, you can start and stop recording. You can power on and off the camera. Um, you can change to different modes, uh, video, photo, burst mode, time lapse. And then the other thing that we've done, which we're especially proud of, is we've um, put together a collection of different settings into a preset. Mm. So we're trying to make it a lot easier for consumers to be able to record their experiences in their BMW. Uh, so there are various different presets that you can choose. And when you choose a particular preset, it changes multiple different settings uh, on the camera. 
and you can also frame your shot. So it's a, it's a, it's a low refresh rate framing preview, uh, but it's really, again, it's intended to, so you can position the camera correctly and you know what the camera's looking at. So, uh, instead of me talking more about this, let me uh, have Justin Bell tell you about it. Go to Connected Drive. This is just for the first time, I think I'm the first civilian not only to drive the new M3 from BMW, but also to use the incredible new GoPro app. So I've got my phone in the car, I've connected it, and through iDrive, up here on the screen, I've now gone to Connected Drive, GoPro started up. Wait a second. This is going to be outrageous for people, I think. Where people buy the car just to play with the GoPro app. All right, so it's got a preview. Go down to settings. And this is the incredible thing. You know when you're driving along and you think, oh, I'd love to uh, take a time lapse of this road because you wouldn't want to run the video the whole time. Well, they give you every single option like as a preset. I want the leisure drive facing out, which isn't strictly correct because I won't be going leisurely. But it means that I can record proper video. Pop it up there. Hit recording. And the rest is up to me. That's wild. That is a first, man. World first. But it also records you if you screw up. <laughs> That's not so good. Okay. So, um, thanks for hearing our announcement. We're really, really excited about this. Um, uh, just a couple of logistical things for you. We actually have micro SD cards for all of you individually. So we can, if you if you like to use the GoPro that's on the car, uh, come and see myself. Or in the back, we've got uh, Kevin O'Leary. Just give us a wave. And Chris is right there. Okay, so they're both wearing their newly acquired GoPro Mountain Games jackets. So you'll recognize them. Um, so come and come and see us. We'll give you a micro SD card. We'll help you get set up in the car with the app and everything. It's very straightforward and easy to use, but we'd certainly like you to experience it. Um, the other thing that I wanted to let you know is um, we have assets for you to use on the uh, FTP site, I believe, and there's a link uh, that has been provided to you to enable you to get a lot of. There's a lot of uh, really nice B-roll footage that we've shot with with the BMWs and with the GoPros. So uh, if you want to uh, build your own edit, you certainly can. Uh, the other thing that I'll finish with is we uh, had our video production team back at GoPro uh, put together an edit uh, with uh, the BMW shoot that we did with Justin Bell. So uh, can we roll that now? Do we have that available?
Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Phil. Thanks, Kevin and Chris. Uh